All right, just start out with a shot of the final product here so you can see what it looks like. I think I have about 400 feet of tubing. The roll came in a 500 foot roll and I think I have about 100 foot left. Uh, the entire cost here was around 50 bucks for the tubing and the boards and this little wrap. So not very bad on cost and uh, it took me a day or two to build. So in the end, you'll see I'll do some temperature readings when I get everything built to show you exactly the inflow and the outflow temperature of the project. So I hope you enjoy. Give us a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. So I ripped a two by four and a half to start out so that my entire box is just an inch and a half tall and I just have a quarter inch plywood underneath. So it's all fairly lightweight. All right, so I've got this little uh, four by eight sheet. This is actually just, I think, three eighths inch plywood or something. Actually, this is a scrap piece I got for free. So these I've just ripped in half like you saw uh, on the table saw. If you don't have a table saw, you can always just buy these. They sell them uh, one and a half inches just like that. So I'm just going to kind of build this little frame like this. So I'm just going to screw all the ends in and then screw the back to it. And then obviously one coil is going to go here and one coil is going to go here. So we'll screw all that together on time lapse. All right, so you saw us kind of screw that down. So we flipped it upside down, flipped that over, and now I'm just gonna lay a bead of glue down, and then we'll screw that down on the top, and then flip it back over. So I'm gonna glue it, because I actually want it to be fairly airtight, just so it can get as much heat as possible in this little box. So let's glue it and screw it. Built and all screwed together. Now I'm gonna get this tar paper. It's the same stuff that they put on roofs, uh, like underneath the shingles, like that. So I'm gonna line the bottom with that black tar paper to have an entire black coating, it's super cheap. And I've got some actually left over when I did my shed build video to build this very shed right here. So do this in the shade because this stuff does get hot. So we staple down all of that plastic stuff, not the plastic, but the black tar paper, tar paper. And it gets really hot. When you touch that edge in the sun, it's boiling hot. So hopefully this works really well. So now we're gonna do our two coils and then we'll put the little plastic on top and give it a test. This is the tubing we're gonna use. It's half inch, it's just that irrigation tubing you can buy at your hardware store like Home Depot or Lowe's or something. It's super thin walled, it's half inch. I have a 500 foot roll here. I think it was 37 bucks for 500 feet. So I'm gonna do my two coils. I'm gonna have both of my contacts going out at the top. You'll kinda of see how I'm gonna hook it together. So here I am rolling up the second loop and just kinda of using a two by four as bracing. Okay, a little quick update here. So you kind of saw me winding that up on time-lapse. I actually had the big roll on my shop stool over there so it would unwind easy. It was a little bit tricky to unwind, so I had to get a little help. I wasn't sure of a better way to do that. You can kind of see the layout here. So I've got, again, two inlets. Uh, so I'm gonna have a big hose that's gonna, inch hose that's gonna go down to each of these half-inch hoses. Uh, my pump on my pool pumps out quite a bit of water. That's why I'm doing two loops. So it'll go in this first loop. Now you can see I just did a little elbow there. That's gonna go out, warm water into the pool. And the second one comes in, goes in the second loop, warm water out to the pool. So if the water is not hot enough, what I can do is up on this joint right here, I'll just put an elbow T just like I did right there, right here. And that will have one continuous loop. So I'll just come in on this bottom one here. So I'll do this loop, go up here. It'll do this whole loop, and then it'll just come out hot water on that end. So I'll do a couple of tests when I get it in to see how hot it is, but that's kind of how I designed this up on purpose uh, so I could actually do one continuous loop if I needed. Uh, so once I got the coils down, I screwed in these little cross pieces just to hold everything down flat like that. I'll, after a couple of tests, I may end up doing another one right here and right there. So I'll do kind of an X or a T to hold those down if one's not sufficient. But that's pretty much it for that. So. Next, I'm gonna wrap the entire thing in plastic so the x-rays will come down from the sun and they'll kind of get trapped and bounce around to even heat it up more. And we'll kind of do our little first tests. So we are here back testing our little water flow. So we have it all rigged through. You can see I put an elbow on this. So I'm sending the water through both loops. We'll do a little temperature test here in a second. All right, here's our first temperature test. Uh, a couple of things, you saw me wrap this uh, in the saran wrap this because I got the little bag and put over it and I was actually like six inches short So uh, you'd have to buy a little bit bigger bag. Those bags are only like six dollars So I might do that at a later date, but I ended up just wrapping it with this for now to do a little test Also, our Sun isn't at an ideal angle um, You should see we should have this thing kind of tilted like this But for this little test, we're gonna leave it on the ground 
and let's give it a whirl. So this has been going now for 20 or so minutes. So all the water is sort of stabilized. We have this coming in from the hose, directly from the hose, and it's pumping in through both and out the end there where my son is. So we're gonna first test this side. So you can see here, I'm gonna hold this up and we'll watch this. So it's gonna start to drop a little bit here. Uh, the temperature outside right now is around, I'd probably say it's in the 90s. Um, All right, 77, it's not changing. So let's come over here to the outflow end. So it's going through that one. We have our elbow right there, and then it's going through this one. And then here we're filling up this little bucket. You can see on the outflow end, so we'll pop that in there and we'll kind of watch this. Outflow end it looks like. So that's 12 degrees difference is getting heated through that. So I ended up buying this hard corrugated plastic because I wanted to do a test on this. So I'm just screwing that down here for my final test. Okay, final update here. So you can see I have got this thing all mounted up and I tore off that saran wrap because I wanted to try some hard plastic. This is the cheapest stuff I could find. Uh, this clear plastic that's kind of corrugated. So I'm just getting a little ridiculous here, but you can see I've actually got this thing on hinges underneath. So I can just, you know, I can lower this thing down all the way like that angle. I can bring it up flat and I can even take it at an incline for when the sun is over in that direction. So I can kind of face this wherever I want towards the sun. Let's try to break another one. So there's the actual main unit that reads these little side ones. So it's 79.1, it claims in there right now. We'll see how hot it gets in five or 10 minutes. And my thermometer just quit, it says off. It got up to 139. So I think when it hit 140, it shut off. So I actually don't know how hot it will get in here, but I, at 140, it won't read anymore. So here I've got the water going through the heater. It's still very hot. It's been going through for five minutes, but we're at 120, 135, 130. So 152, it's still climbing. So this water coming out is crazy hot, scalding hot. So it looks like about 152 we're getting. So I'm gonna let it run for another 10 or so minutes and I'll give you a reading again. Okay, this is our final test here. So I'm gonna place the thermometer in and... So that, I haven't seen it get below 77, so that is the temperature of the water coming in. Let's come over here, do our last test. So I'll pull the outflow, so this is the water coming out. We'll stick it in our bucket here, fill this up, and then grab a temperature reading on this. So this is just how hot the heater is working. So this isn't hot pipes, this is just the true test here. Oops, I just turned that off. There we go. So we are at 84, 86. Okay, last video, I promise. So I've actually taken my pump, I don't know if you can see it there, but I've dropped it down into the pool. So it's now pumping straight cold water. And because it has to pump up and through the cycle, it actually runs out a little bit slower. So I wanna show you the difference in temperature just by having the stream a little bit slower. You can kind of see the difference there between what it was doing before. So I'm gonna fill this up. Whoops, I'll try not to cover the camera. Hard to do, I need one extra hand here. So I'm gonna fill this guy up, take one last temperature reading, and you can see that uh, just how much difference just turning the water flow down just a little bit will make on the degrees. So I wouldn't say it's coming out half as slow, but um, maybe a quarter slower or something like that. The water flow probably is than what it was before. So I'll fill this entire pitcher up, pull it out, and we'll do our last little reading here. So I'll just kind of pop this right here and let's see what this is. Okay, so we are at, it was at 87 before, if you remember, and you can see it's already two degrees warmer, um, just from coming out a little bit slower. And so 
I tested it just a second ago and it was actually 91. It jumped two more degrees by coming out a little slower. So you can see you get two, four degrees um, easy just by turning that down a little bit slower in your temperature. So I hope you enjoyed it. Kalen was excited to build this. This was a lot of fun doing the water heater. We got a little crazy with it, but <laughs> hopefully that makes the pool a little bit warmer and we can go swimming because the girls are ready again. Okay, yeah. we'll see ya. Say yeah. bye. Bye. All right, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with all of your friends. And if you dislike this video, share it with all your enemies. <laughs>